vlog a little bit late this week. Yesterday, me and my friend Charlotte, we had kind of like a crafty day and I collected some acorns in the park and then I like washed them and dried them and we painted them. And yeah, my friend Charlotte was actually a lot more creative than I was. Um, she came up with some really interesting ideas. So I've still got hers because yesterday when she went home, they weren't quite dry. So I can show you. So this is one of my favorites that Charlotte did. Um, and it is a mermaid cat. <laughs> and yeah, so she's stuck on ears and an extra bit. So obviously that was the acorn. You can kind of see it if I turn it upside down. But yeah, she was really clever with like looking at the acorns and deciding like what they looked like. So she's done this lady with this amazing like colourful headscarf. And then she's done a koala as well. I feel like this shape would have been good for like a lion maybe as well. Oh, and she did some flowers as well. See, I'm going to show you all of hers. <laughs> then mine are going to be a disappointment. But yeah, I think I was feeling a bit more kind of Halloween-y. So I have done... This is a witch. Or, well, just the witch's head. And I kind of went a bit crazy with the glitter. <laughs> Yeah, and I've gone I've gone typical witch and made her green, but she's not necessarily evil. She's just she's just got a green face. And I did a couple of Day of the Dead acorns. <laughs> I think this one looks a bit more feminine. But yeah, maybe they could be like a couple. I did oh yeah, here he is. I did this little pumpkin guy. And uh He's a little bit glittery. I can't remember if he was meant to be glittery or if he just ended up <laughs> covered in glitter because the glitter, you know, went everywhere. And then this guy who's, um, I don't know, he's kind of a bit, he reminded me of like a troll. If you ever had those trolls when you were younger that had like the hair. And then... I started doing this kind of garland thing, but I didn't get very far. I've got <laughs> three, three acorns in. So I saw, I saw somebody made one of these on Pinterest and it's just, it's like a glittery acorn top and then a little pom pom glued in there. But yeah, cause it was a lot easier to find the tops of the acorns than the actual full acorn. But yeah, I had a nice day yesterday and Charlotte brought around some sweets and also some amazing tea. It was, um, what's it called? It's called Strawberry Cupcake. I've got it at the moment, it smells really good. So today I had planned on taking some photos for my Etsy shop, but currently it is raining quite a lot and so it's quite dark. I have heard that if it's a bit cloudy that it's better for taking photos because the lighting's not so dramatic. But yeah, so I wanted to take some new photos today and I ordered this photo board um, and I thought that this would be really useful for taking product photos on just to give it the same background and then I could maybe add a few different like little props and things, we'll see. But I kind of want my photos on my Etsy shop to have more of a like cohesive feel to them because I feel that I've been quite creative with the photos I've taken and like I am really happy with the photos I've taken but when I look at them all together I don't feel that they necessarily go so I wanted to sort of test out what it would look like if I did them all on the same backdrop or a very similar backdrop. So I've got this one and then I've also got some that are vinyl ones um, and I thought I was looking through like different backdrops for ages and I've decided that I want to try just going for 
kind of like a wood effect, particularly maybe like a kind of painted, almost kind of like shabby chic, rustic, that kind of aesthetic. But yeah, I think, I think I'm going to try and take some photos and hopefully it's not too dark because it's raining, but yeah, I'm going to give it a go. just having an experiment and using the one board for now and I've decided to see what it looks like with some props so at the moment I have got this Dino Baker enamel pin which possibly you might have seen before as he's a baker I thought I might see what it looks like with some little kind of uh, cupcake cases so this is my setup I've just got a couple of the, oh, knocked him over. Just got a couple of the dinos here. And then I thought I'd put some cases in the background. And then I've just taken this picture. Which, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. But yeah, I don't want to do anything too elaborate. And I, I thought that this might be a way of keeping a kind of theme to some of them with a couple of props but then keeping some consistency as well with them um, with having the background so yeah I'm gonna try a few different things and we'll see how they go so I've just been taking photos with my phone and I did actually try using Tom's fancy Canon camera um, I say fancy, he's had it like for years, but I tried using that and that's like a sort of big DSLR and I was finding that I was actually preferring just taking photos on my phone. I find it easy because you can just see it on the screen. And so yeah, I've taken some photos, so I thought I would just show you um, how I'm editing them. So I'm going to use this photo. So I click use and then select the filters that I want and I don't want to do too much with the filters but as it is a little bit of grey day I think I'd like to warm it up a little bit so I'm going to use the juniper I'm going to bring that down I think to 70% and then click tick and then you can have multiple layers I wouldn't use too many I'm going to use Lumen, but I'm going to drag that right down to 25. So if I hold it and then take it off, I don't even know if it's really shown up that much, but it's just, it gives everything a slight pink tone. Obviously you can see that way more if that's way up here, but I just want a very slight change. And I feel that it just sort of brightens everything up a little bit as well. So yeah, I think that is all that I'm actually going to do to the photo. Um, if you did want to, you can change a few other things on here, like brightness, contrast, etc, etc, saturation. And they've also got some touch tools as well. So you could just pick a particular area and do that. But I think that's all that I actually want to do. So then all you do is you press next. And then save it and it's done. So one of the things I wanted to try was to see what my enamel pins looked like on some clothing as well and to take some photos of the products in the way that they would be used. So I tried pinning them on this 
dungaree dress that I had and then I realized that that one was a little bit dark and actually the the one that I was currently wearing would actually be a better sort of color um, so I had to uh, change my outfit so I could uh, take some photos of that and um, yeah I've um, I've really been enjoying sort of playing around with taking different photos and experimenting but then like I say having this backdrop to sort of try and keep that cohesiveness and um, about this time it was getting a little bit sort of too late and too dark so that was all the photography that I did that day. Good morning it is Friday morning say hi Tom Hello. <laughs> and I have washed my hair and I haven't tried it and actually I henned my hair yesterday um, with the same colour so it should turn out more or less the same colour but it's wet at the moment so I can't quite tell and also henna takes a little while to like develop stop and stop smelling <laughs> but yeah me and Tom are having breakfast we're having breakfast and oh, <laughs> yes massive bowl <laughs> and we're about to play one of our new favourite games, Race for the Galaxy. And I'm pretty sure that Tom is going to win. You've won before. I have won twice. And, um, yeah, and I know how many, to how many times Tom has won because we are extra geeky and we've started a game logbook. So... I know how many times I've won and how many times Tom has won. And he's won a lot more than I have. Tom is very good at games. He's very strategic. So it's quite a lot later now. Tom has gone off to work. We didn't actually finish playing our game. So I think we're gonna play it when he comes home. And I wanted to see if I could take some more photos for Etsy because I didn't finish that yesterday. And yeah, I'm going to see how many I can take before the light goes. It's already kind of going, as you can probably see by this window here um, above my door. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and take some photos. The other thing that I want to do with Etsy is do a bit of kind of the copywriting side of things. So I don't think I've really done much in the way of my policies. So, yeah, I want to do stuff for that and stuff for kind of like, you know, the about me section as well. Um, I would also like to take some photos of myself, both for Etsy and also for my website, but I don't know if I will do that today. Probably not. Also, I've been listening to the Honest Designers podcast and I really love it. And I've been, yeah, listening to loads of them and they've been keeping me company. And I've listened to both the podcast and they also do like the same podcast, but on YouTube where you can see what they look like, which is quite nice. And if, if I put it on YouTube, I won't like, you know, be watching the whole screen the whole time, but it's just quite nice to know what people look like and then I think it's easier to sort of work out who's speaking as well. I'm going to turn the camera off and uh, turn my podcast back on. You know I just think like as you were saying Dustin uh, thinking about not necessarily the end goal but like how are you feeling? Do you feel creative? Do you feel vital? Do you feel energized? And, and if, if you're getting enjoyment out of just sitting down and you know whether you illustrating or, or playing music or whatever does it does it really does it for your fancy and is that exciting for you and that's what you got to concentrate on i think i'm gonna change my jumper because my jumper only goes down to there and then i've just got this black like long sleeve t-shirt on and i want something that looks kind of more cozy because i'm gonna be sort of holding things in some of the photos so i've got this mark which you've seen before and mark which again you've seen before but yeah I'm gonna take some other photos of them yeah I just really want to see what it looks like if I can get these photos to all kind of match and see if I like it or not one jumper change Tom 
mum is home. Yay. <laughs> Showing the world's our uh, washing. <laughs> Your brazier! <laughs> My brazier! Don't want to see that. We'll cut that out of the shot. We are going to finish our game that we started earlier. Have you been looking at my cards? I, I hope not. <laughs> so, you've been at home all day, I've been at work, and you're I have, accusing me of looking at I your have cards. been busy. <laughs> I got 29, what's your score then? We got 3, 5, 6, 7, 9. 12, my whole school. 13, 14. Oh, I, oh, okay, I got 14. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not very interesting for other people to hear us talking about a game that they don't know how to play. Well, we're not going to explain how to play. Play more games. Tom won, what a surprise. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised, <laughs> you always win. <laughs> what are you doing? You're trying to do the face, that, like the... The hand transition thing. Mm. I just got shy. Got shy. Okay, bye. So I filmed a little bit on Saturday as well, and I didn't realise that I'd put my hand in front of the camera microphone, so the sound is all sort of muffled. But basically, here I'm showing you my outfit um, for park run because um, we do like a fancy dress park run for Halloween. So I've worn this skeleton outfit a couple of times for Halloween. It's just a very easy outfit to wear for running. Um, you'll find sometimes that when you want to do a fancy dress run, e either you'll be wearing like a wig that will want to kind of fall off or like rotate or yeah, you'll, you'll find that you probably pick something that wants to like fall off or just annoy you as you run. And yeah, a skeleton sort of leotard is quite an easy thing to run in. Tom isn't so into sort of fancy dress um, and he just likes representing the vegans so uh, he went as a scary vegan runner. <laughs> Scream like a banshee Something's hiding in the pantry But I can't find it So would you please Enchant me Give me a potion Put my devotion To the emotion Them with my special. How do you know what plants are you? I have an app. Oh. oh! Oh! Fancy. So, according to this app, this thing, which looks like it needs a water possibly, is Swedish ivy. And I'm going to measure it using this really cute. Why do you need to hide the pot? I need to know how big a pot I need. You're going pot shopping. I'm going pot shopping. Well, we tried looking for pots in the charity shop. And we couldn't find it. I know what this one is. This one's a spider. Everyone knows spider plant. Although, shall we just see if it see knows? If it gets it right. See if it knows it's a spider plant. To be honest, it's, it's getting a little bit of uh, the. It's getting a little bit of that plant as well. Uh, it is a spider plant, yeah, but it's it also known plant. as a ribbon plant, an aeroplane plant, a St. Bernard's lily. Hen and chickens. <laughs> okay. Spider plant, we'll go with. What would this one say? It would say, it would say this is a pen pot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on a mission to get some plant pots and maybe some frames if one frames. some frames. I, so. I don't know why I'm singing. <laughs> if I can find some and also if my arms don't drop off. So, yep, that is my mission. Wish me luck. Oh. I am back from 
the shops and it was raining and my arms feel like they've been stretched really long <laughs> because I've been carrying those uh, plant pots that I got. Um, yes, I got plant pots. I didn't actually buy any picture frames just because I thought there's no way I'm gonna be able to carry plant pots and frames as well. So that's gonna to have to be another shopping trip. But yeah, should I show you quickly what I got? One. Funky Egyptian eye yellow one. This one, which has got little legs. And this one, which is kind of like a dull sort of gold colour with these leaves on it. This little white one. And that's the last one. So I'm hoping that I have measured <laughs> my plants correctly. Oh, ugh. I think I'm gonna pop these up now, but I'm gonna sign off the vlog here. Um, I'm actually going to film a sort of uh, another real time drawing um, of drawing my plants, which I'm gonna film that and that will have been up, hopefully, um, Wednesday just gone. So I will link that like on the screen and in the description. I hope you liked this vlog. Uh, give it a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.